log into your microsoft fabric account then click on below left hand corner then click on data engineering then click on workspaces then select your workspace and now go to your lake house so here as we know we are going to use the shortcut to connect to the azure data lake gen 2 so for that you need to click on get data and then click on new shortcut then click on azure data lake storage gen 2 here you need to provide the azure data lake gen 2 url so for that go to your azure account here you can see i have created this azure data lake gen 2 click on it and inside this i have created this e-commerce folder and under this i have these two folders current and archive so now what i'll do i'll connect to my e-commerce folders from the lake house so for that you need to go to the endpoints and then copy this url which is for data lake storage copy it then go to your fabric account and paste it here and now give name to your connection and authentication type we will choose account key here we need to provide the account key so for that again we need to go to our azure portal and go up and click on access keys and you can use any of the key so i'll use the key one copy it and then go to the fabric account and paste it here and click on next now we need to give name to our shortcut and here you need to choose the path so i'll choose e-commerce folder and click on create here you can see our shortcut is created successfully so inside this shortcut you can see we have current and archive folder so under the current folder i have this file so let me show you in my azure account inside the container i have connected to this e-commerce folders so i have these two folders and inside current i have this sales.xls file so this is how you can connect to the azure data lake gen 2 using shortcut now you can use the notebook to read the data from this shortcut thank you for watching this video please do like and subscribe and in case of any suggestion or improvement Please provide your comments.